Nico and today I'm so excited because I'm actually going to be ranking every squirrel in Animal Crossing, at least the ones who have arrived in Animal Crossing New Horizons. And I'm so excited because this was actually inspired by yesterday's squirrel searching stream that I hosted on Twitch. If you didn't know, I am on Twitch as my full name at Nicole Marie Vieira. So yeah, if you'd like to join us, I'll see you when I see ya. <laughs> but essentially, the squirrel searching stream was very chaotic. It was very fun. I actually got acne because of how annoyed I got, but like I said, it was so much fun. We had to say <laughs> see ya to so many cuties because I wanted a squirrel to invite to Guanabana and we didn't even end up inviting a squirrel, uh, but you'll see who we invited this Friday, which I'm really excited about. But yeah, because of that squirrel searching, a lot of people wanted to ask which squirrels are my favorite. So I have crafted my own tier list because I do love crafting. I know I'm so annoying, <laughs> but I have every squirrel that is available in Animal Crossing New Horizons to rank today. And I'm really excited because I get to tell you what I think about each squirrel. I will do my best to evenly distribute each squirrel because I can easily put every squirrel in S, but I will do my best to evenly distribute each squirrel. So I'm really excited. Let's, let's Let's, uh, let's rank some cuties. <laughs> so yeah, the first squirrel we have is Tasha. I absolutely love Tasha. Tasha is a snooty personality and she was actually introduced in Animal Crossing E+. But then she was reintroduced in the Animal Crossing New Leaf Welcome Amiibo update. But I actually didn't discover her until Animal Crossing Pocket Camp with the Happy Helper plan, I think it was called. I actually recruited her as my happy helper. And I was like, this girl is super cute. I think she's so visually unique. I love her little eyebrows. I love her little nose and I absolutely love her tail. I think I would easily put her in S, but I do wish that she was reintroduced as an Uchi personality because even though I can definitely see her being snooty, I do feel like, I don't know, she kind of reminds me of that older sister that you wish you had, you know what I mean? Like she looks so cool and I just wish I had her. So I think I may actually put her in A because I do have something I can critique her with, but I would absolutely love to have her on Konamana. I think she's so visually, just like she's so cool, I love her. So next we have Sylvia. Silvana. Silvana's so cute. She's actually very similar to Tasha in the way that she was also introduced in Animal Crossing E+, and she was reintroduced in the Animal Crossing New Leaf Welcome Amiibo update. She has a normal personality, and I think she's so cute. I think she's inspired by like a sugar glider or like a ferret, and I think that's really cute. Um... <sighs> I also want to put her in S, but I think I may put her in A because I... Uh, I, the thing is, I would also really love to have her in Guanabana, but maybe because I just don't have any personal experience, I'm not, like, I just, I, I feel like I can't put her in S yet. I don't know. But next is actually Static, who I can easily put in S. I think out of all, I think not even just the squirrels as a species, but I think out of all the cranky islanders in Animal Crossing, Static is like, he's he's in, he's been in every Animal Crossing, and I feel like anyone in the Animal Crossing community, and anyone who's even talked about Animal Crossing once in their life, I feel like they know that Static exists, and they absolutely love him. I feel like Static is so visually cool. I really love his little facial details. I I love his colors. I think he's just like, he's so amazing as a cranky animal. In addition to the fact that he's a squirrel, I just feel so proud. I love him so much. I absolutely definitely want Static on Guanabana. He's just like, he's just the perfect cranky. I, I feel like I'm not really doing a good job explaining <laughs> exactly why I love each squirrel. I love him. <laughs> I mean like, how can he not be S, you know? How can they all not be an S? <laughs> okay, so next we have Sheldon, who may not be everyone's favorite squirrel, but I actually really wanted him as my starting islander in Animal Crossing New Horizons, especially when I found out that we would be starting our islands with an Uchi and a jock personality type. Sheldon is a jock. He was introduced in Animal Crossing New Leaf. I love his little angry eyebrows. I love his freckles. That's also something I really love about Nibbles, but we can talk about that later. But yeah, I really like it. I mean, I really wanted him to be one of my starting islanders. I am happy and I absolutely love Guanabana as it is, but I really wanted to have him. So he is also the only jock squirrel. So if I did want to have a jock squirrel on my island, Sheldon is my choice because he has to be. <laughs> I may put Sheldon in B though because even though he is the only jock squirrel in comparison to all the squirrels I feel like I like some others more But I still really want him. I want all the squirrels <laughs> So next 
is actually Sally, who was introduced to Animal Crossing Wild World, but actually Sally was originally named Hazel in the previous Animal Crossings, and it made it really confusing actually with the introduction of Hazel, who I'll talk about later on, because then like Sally was previously named Hazel, and now we have a Hazel, but then Callie was originally named Sally, but then because she's Sally, now they had to call her Callie. It's really confusing. So there's a lot of like name changes with localization between these three, but this is Sally who was originally named Hazel and she has a normal personality which really I'm just like kind of confused about just a little bit because I feel like with her facial expression she kind of reminds me of like being a snooty squirrel and I honestly love normal personalities so it's like it's not that I dislike her because of that I just I wish she was kind of snooty you know what I mean like I feel like she'd be a really fun snooty squirrel I just think in comparison to the other normal squirrels I just feel like I get really surprised every time I remember that like Sally's normal so I kind of want to put Sally in B but then that makes me want to move Sheldon into A because I don't know if they're in the same tier so I may actually move Sheldon to A and I may have Sally here maybe because she's really cute I'd still love to have her on Gunaura I feel like I say that with each squirrel but I mean at least she has a cool story you know her name changing and all of that is cool but besides that yeah she's just cute she's a cute squirrel <laughs> So next we have Ricky. Ricky, I actually really love him. I <laughs> I really want him on Gonawana. He is very similar to Static in that he has been in every Animal Crossing. He is also a cranky personality type and I feel like everyone knows and acknowledges Static as like a favorite animal. Ricky, even though he is also in every Animal Crossing, he also has a cranky personality. He's just not that acknowledged. <laughs> kind of guilty but like something about his facial expression his unibrow how massive his eyes are <laughs> like his mouth he's just so cute to me and I would absolutely love to have him on the island I would put him in B tier because something about his face I just absolutely love it's so stupid, but it's so cute. Oh my goodness. I can't. Okay So next we have Poppy who I have to say is definitely one of the cutest squirrels in Animal Crossing She is actually a normal personality who was introduced in Animal Crossing City Folk I think she's the only squirrel who was introduced in Animal Crossing City Folk and I think that's so fitting Like I don't know why but like what may I don't know what it is about Poppy But she just looks like that little girl who like moved to the city for the first time and she's just like discovering life on her own and I think like the normal personality is very fitting of that I think she was a really fantastic addition to Animal Crossing City Folk so I mean honestly I may just put her in S I want to say I had her in Animal Crossing City Folk but because I can't remember as clearly as I remember Static being in my town I'm kind of hesitant to say so but I definitely know that she was actually in my Animal Crossing New Leaf town and I loved her so much like when she first arrived I was like oh my god Poppy <laughs> I wanted to cry. She's so cute. She's definitely S. Pecan. I don't think I say this enough, but I absolutely love Pecan. Pecan is one of my favorite squirrels. Pecan is S. She is like the perfect snooty squirrel. She has the eyes for it. She has like the little smile for it. I just feel like for a snooty personality, she is so fitting. I really want her on Gwenaona. I can't wait for the day that she arrives. I'm gonna be so happy. But yeah, Pecan has been in every Animal Crossing. I absolutely love her. She's my favorite snooty squirrel. And yeah, the day that she arrives, I can't wait to see her on an island. That squirrel searching is gonna be chaotic because I'm gonna be so happy. Next is Peanut, and I don't even have to say anything. She goes here. <laughs> I love her so much. Peanut is my favorite squirrel. She is my favorite Animal Crossing animal. I cannot speak highly enough of Peanut. I love her so much. She is so cute. She's a peppy personality. She has been in every Animal Crossing very deservingly. She is just like the cutest example for a peppy animal. And yeah, I'm being biased, but I honestly don't care. <laughs> I actually, oh my goodness, we have the cutest plant for this June because it is her birthday month. I can't wait to have her on Guanawana. The day I have her on Guanawana, I don't even care. Everything will be perfect because I have Peanut. <laughs> So cute. If I cared enough to arrange the squirrels and like their tears, she would be here. Like that. Yeah, that's it. 
exactly like that. Okay, so Nibbles is also an Every Animal Crossing. She's also a peppy personality, very similar to Peanut, but I honestly, I would put her in B, uh, or maybe I'll put her in A. No, I'm gonna put her in B. Um, I kind of feel guilty doing that because she's cute. The thing is with Nibbles, I love her freckles. I love that her name's Nibbles and that her teeth, she shows her teeth. I think that's so cute. But something about Nibbles' eyes, like honestly, the longer I look at Nibbles, I get <laughs> like a little hesitant. <laughs> I don't know her eyes are very beaming which is a really nice personality trait you know like eye contact is really important very charismatic she's peppy she wants to be a star but I mean when you have peanut as a peppy it's it's I mean I mean you know what I mean <laughs> she's cute though I kind of feel guilty I kind of want to put her in a but maybe I'll put you know this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put Ricky and C. I'm really sorry, Ricky. You cute. I love you. I want you on Guanabana. But I think to feel better about placing Nibbles and B, I need to move Ricky down to C. Oh, I feel so bad. Uh, but look, C. I'm evenly, I'm not evenly distributing the squirrels, but I'm doing my best. You like that? Cute. <laughs> next is Mint. Conveniently, Mint and Marshall are next to each other, and I have both of them on Guanabana. I'm really sorry I couldn't get you another squirrel, my cuties. I love you both very much. Mint has also been in every Animal Crossing. She has a snooty personality. I can easily put her in S, but I think I'm gonna put her in A right now because I do have her on my island and I absolutely love her, but simultaneously, like, as a snooty squirrel, I mean, look at the difference. She's so cute and nice, and she's so snooty. I mean, is that even fair? Is that a fair way to compare? I'm kind of comparing them based on like how fitting they are of their personality and how badly I want them on Guanabana. And maybe that may, because I already have mint, so maybe I'm not being like appreciative enough. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> is this a fair way to rank? I'm actually more than halfway through and now I'm asking this. Who cares? I'm the one ranking them, right? Marshall. Marshall's an S. I mean, he may honestly be amongst the Animal Crossing community. I think Marshall is one of, if not the favorite squirrel, and very understandably so. Marshall was actually introduced in Animal Crossing New Leaf as a smug squirrel. He is a smug personality. I did have him in my Animal Crossing New Leaf town. He randomly moved behind my house, and the first time I discovered he was moving, I was actually really salty about it, but when I discovered who Marshall actually is, I was really happy and I've loved him ever since. He's so cute. He's a little marshmallow boy. I absolutely love his little inner ear color. So cute. His facial expression, his little mouth. <laughs> he's so cute. I think he's very fitting of being a smug and I'm really happy that he is our one smug squirrel, you know? I think he's really cute. It's honestly kind of funny though because after probably Animal Crossing's favorite squirrel, we may have one of Animal Crossing's least favorite squirrels, Hazel, which I feel so bad. Hazel was also introduced in Animal Crossing New Leaf as our first ever Uchi squirrel. She is a representative Uchi squirrel. I love her cheeks. I love her little mouth. I love her unibrow, more like Una. Wow. <laughs> so annoying. I think she's so cute. I honestly want to put Hazel in S. I don't care what you think about Hazel. She's so cute. She's really fitting of being an Uchi personality. I actually kind of feel guilty for Uchis because like they don't have the reputation of being the cutest, but like Hazel. Oh my goodness. Could you have imagined if like, see Uchi was another starting personality with each island. Could you imagine starting with Sheldon and Hazel? Honestly, honestly, should I make a new Guanabana Island <laughs> and keep restarting until we start with Hazel and Sheldon? <gasps> that... Oh no, maybe I should. Okay, but yeah, I love Hazel. I mean, she's the only Uchi squirrel. She's the cutest Uchi squirrel. I really want her on Guanabana, her little you know wow. I love her so much. Next we have Filbert, who's actually the only lazy squirrel. And he's actually been in every Animal Crossing. He's very cute. He's very similar to Nibbles though, with that the eyes, the longer I make eye contact with him, the more hesitant I become, which is fine. I do like his little eyebrows. I do like his little He's very cute. I absolutely want him on my island, but yeah, the eyes <laughs> I 
yeah. <laughs> I can easily place him in A though. I would have loved to see him yesterday. I actually thought that he was gonna be the squirrel I'd discover while squirrel searching yesterday. And we didn't find him. So baby, next time, Philbert, I miss you. I want you. Anyway, yeah. Caroline. So I have a few thoughts about Caroline. Caroline was introduced as Bliss in the original Animal Crossing, and she was actually an islander. And you could meet her visiting the island off of your Animal Crossing town. And yeah, she had like a little flower in her hair, and she was really cute, but she was reintroduced to Animal Crossing Wild World as Caroline without her flower. And I feel like if she had her flower, I would put her an S, especially for Animal Crossing New Horizons, because I absolutely love when each animal has those like little details like the little flower in her hair I would have loved having that but because she no longer has that flower I kind of want to put her in A but I'm a little salty so I'm gonna put her in B <laughs> even though it's the Animal Crossing team who needs to fix that not Caroline she is a normal personality I think she's a really cute normal squirrel and I think she's a really nice balance in comparison to Poppy and Silvana who I think like they're kind of like normal in the very innocent kind of way but i feel like caroline is very like sweet like girl next door kind of personality and i really like that about her i just wish she had her little flower especially for animal crossing new horizons anyway callie who was originally named sally but because of localization and name changes she is now callie i do like callie because she's very visually unique compared to all of the other squirrels her eyes have been raised she has really <laughs> cute just absolutely cute cheeks and yeah i like her because she's very visually different. She is also normal. She has been in every Animal Crossing. I would absolutely love to have her on my island as every other squirrel. I don't think that's a surprise to anyone, but I also would put her in B because, yeah, I mean, she's really cute, but again, I just think, I, I kind of, I don't know. Wait a minute, now I'm doubting myself. I want to put them all in S. Can I just change it? Maybe I'll put Caroline in A. I feel like, no. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, B, B. Blair's also B. Blair has been in every Animal Crossing. As you can see, every squirrel has stayed in Animal Crossing because they're so cute. I would put Blair in B because she is a snooty personality, and again, I just think, well, honestly, I feel like she's more fitting of snooting than Mint, but I absolutely love Mint, and I have a personal attachment. I feel like a lot of these, though, like, if I could, I would put these three in A, I think, in S. <laughs> Do I want to put her in B? I may move Sally. Oh, do I want to move Sally to C? Maybe I can. And then, yeah, yeah. Actually, that may, yeah. But I can see that. I feel like that makes sense to me. But anyway, I don't think I finished talking about Blair. I did have Blair in Animal Crossing Wild World. I distinctly remember that. I think I also had her in Animal Crossing Population growing, um, which I do like her. Again, I think it's just because I like other snooty squirrels more. I am really excited to see her in Animal Crossing New Horizons though. I do have a friend who has her on her island, so I can't wait to see her again. I can't wait to have her again, even though I am ranking the squirrels this way every squirrel in my heart is honestly an S <laughs> anyway agent S agent S is a C honestly agent S is the only squirrel I'm not the biggest fan of I'm not really a fan of like the whole helmet I do like agent S's expression I'd love to see her reintroduced as an Uchi in addition to Tasha and Hazel I think these three would have made fantastic Uchi squirrels but yeah agent S is peppy which is actually I can't believe it <laughs> I'd love to see her without that helmet because I like her color. I like the pink, the light gray, the white. And yeah, I think she has a lot of potential, but I just really don't care about the helmet. I really don't, I'm gonna be honest. So I think that's why she's not my favorite. Maybe honestly, H&S would go here if I had a final tier, but I will put her here because then the tier list looks really nice. <laughs> But yeah, let me just look at this again. I kind of want to put Tasha to S. I do want to put Tasha to S. Can I do that? Is that okay? I feel like, yeah, Silvana, Sheldon, Mint, Philbert, yeah. I kind of want to put Caroline in A because I feel like I'm being a little too salty about a flower, you know what I mean? And then Nibbles, Callie, Blair, and then I'll put, I'll put Sally. Or should I put Ricky? I feel like I'm... Yeah, no wait, yeah, that, that's how I'm ranking them. But yeah, that is how I rank every squirrel on Animal Crossing New Horizons. So now you know the next time we have a chaotic squirrel searching stream, <laughs> you know who I'm anticipating most. Even though we all know I will happily have any squirrel on Quinawana, except, I mean. <laughs> 
I want to know how you'd rank each squirrel even though all squirrels deserve to be S. So yeah, let me know. But yeah, if you enjoyed, you're more than welcome to subscribe. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you when I see you. <laughs>